Hi, welcome to Buffalo Bear Adventures. We're headed to Yellowstone in about a month, so I'm taking some time to go through the trailer, uh, make sure the bearings are greased, and we've got all the stuff I need in there in case we run into any trouble, so I've got it all spread out. So I figured this was a good time to go over the trailer real quick and do a quick walk around for some people that might be interested. Alright, we're going to start here at the front and I'll work our way back. The hitch here is an art articulating hitch. It works really well. Um, I have had to replace it once because it got an ex excessive play in it, but maybe I had a faulty one. I'm not sure. Uh, so as we go back, this whole tongue comes out. It's held in with a pin here, and there's some bolts down on the inside that pinch down on it and hold it so it doesn't have any slop. It's solid. And I did that because I set this trailer up where I could tow it with multiple vehicles. This whole piece will slide out, and I've got a standard 2-inch uh, ball hitch that will slide in. Also, there's different links here. I can adjust this, and I can pull this out. And I can also pull this thing out if we're in a bad bind. I can pull the tongue out, and I can put it in the, put it in the back of the trailer. I'll show you that here shortly. All right, so this is the tongue box here. Um, on the side, I've got some SAE plugs, like for a solar panel to plug in, or I've got some uh, adapter cords where I can plug different accessories into this. Uh, I've got normal 12 volt, and this is a shore power plug. It goes up here to this battery charger. Underneath here is a 100 amp hour AGM battery underneath this panel. Um, I've got a breaker, battery switch. And i got a two-way battery switch, so... If I'm ever staying somewhere for a long time, underneath this box is an Anderson plug and I can plug in an extra battery I have and I can run one or two. Uh, fuse box here and this is how I charge off of the Jeep. It's just a uh, DC to DC converter, not like a DC to DC charger. So they work pretty good. Victron makes good stuff. So this takes an input anywhere from 18 to 17 volts and it'll put out an output of whatever range you set it at and anywhere from 10 to 15 volts and it will run at 9 amps so you will charge at the rate of 9 amps to your battery so a decent day of driving will charge up the battery every time we're gonna walk our way around the trailer this way this is the shower tent that we talked about in other other videos it swings out folds out and the tent drops uh, these are some giant ammo cans that are built on to the trailer here. We'll go over some stuff that goes in those later if you want. Here's another one here. Um, diesel roto packs here. This is just a storage box here. A lot of times it holds snacks and lunch food and whatever random bits that we didn't seem to get put somewhere else. We have the uh, propane tank. This will run the grill or a little fire pit. Um, gasoline roto packs mounts under the tent right here. All right, and the tail lights here on the side are old ammo cans I cut out, and they also work for small bits of storage as well. And uh, backup lights. And back here on the back of the trailer, these doors just open up. Drop a pin down in there table folds out and this is an old toolbox and the fridge there on slides slides in and out and this is where you know cooking stuff and stove and pots and pans all that stuff hangs out in there so this makes it a full-fledged kitchen and then the refrigerator sits on the slide and on the back of the spare tire is also a table here this is just a standard two inch receiver hitch and I can take the tongue that's on the front of the trailer and put it here. So if we ever get stuck where we can't get the trailer turned around or run into who knows what kind of trouble, we can pull that tongue off, stick it in here and anybody that's with us, they can grab onto the trailer this side and they can pull off away with the trailer while we deal with whatever problems we have up front. Or if there's a trail and we get to where we need to turn around and it's just miles and miles of backing up uh, with the trailer, that's really hard. And that may be helpful. So far, we really haven't had to use it, but it's an option. Also back here, I wired in some interior lights and some lights that underglow underneath the trailer and they shine down. 
they're just uh, pretty simple. All right, so here it is, all buttoned up and closed up. Normally there's a trasheroo hanging right here. So we'll go on around this way, on this side of the trailer. We've got an old ammo tube here. Um, it works really good for storing the uh, support legs. So these guys here, they pin underneath the trailer. You've probably seen it in some of the videos if you watch, but they pin under the trailer and uh, they use a ratchet strap and I can actually lift the trailer and I can level the trailer and they work pretty good. And I've got them set up where they can run them on the front and the rear. So I've got four of those. But they fit in there as long as uh, like a shovel. Um, we've had fishing poles broke down in there, stuff like that. More storage here and this ammo can there. And then this rack holds water jugs or pelican cases. This depends on where we're going and how long of a trip. Uh, hiding behind those is a, a briefcase solar. It's a Renogy 100 watt solar panel. It fits up underneath there, out of the way. All right, so the frame of the trailer is built out of two by three square tubing, eighth inch thick. And the axle I had custom made for the same width as her uh, four door Wrangler and bolt pattern as well. That way we can run these takeoff wheels. And if we had trouble, we can use this spare on the Jeep or the Jeep spare on uh, the trailer. And it's the same as the Gladiator now as well. The uh, axle has electric drum brakes. The suspension was from a CJ7. It's a rear leaf springs and shackles and hangers. And uh, they're the two and a half inch wide. And it's a two and a half inch lift spring is what I put on this one. And they're plenty soft. And uh, I found some random shocks on Amazon and I ended up adding those later on to take some of the rock and out of it on some of the really rough trails. All right, and then we'll peek at the inside of the trailer. So on the inside of the trailer, it's just open. There's a uh, room for big totes, diesel heater, big uh, crates there. And up top, this will fold down and there's room up there for sleeping bags, totes, tables, chairs, whatever you may need to shove in here. One thing I will note is this trailer has been going for a while now and it started off when we didn't have a rooftop tent. Uh, this is a huge five person rooftop tent. So this feature we don't really use anymore because uh, it's awful heavy. But this top has uh, latches here. And the way we used to use this trailer is there's um, gas shocks on the inside and this door will open up and you can actually load and unload big stuff from the outside instead of having to crawl through the door. And that worked really well before we had the rooftop tent. But now that we have the rooftop tent, just don't need it anymore. All right, now that we have a trailer and we use it on these kind of trips, I've noticed that we have more room so we bring a lot more stuff. <laughs> but some of that stuff is, is actually nice and necessary. So these are just some of the things here that I like to keep in that tongue box. I've got hammers and hatchets and wire brushes, um, a few random bolts for the suspension parts in case we ever needed them, fuses, gloves, some uh, grease fittings and seals and bearings for the axle, um, tie wire, C-clamps, and uh, of course a small first aid kit. We have more of that. Uh, we keep in the Jeep. Um, voltage meter with the amp reading, DC amp reading, extension cord just in case we're ever at shore power, um, various uh, adapters, wire adapters. This is our uh, awning system here. It's a freestanding slumberjack awning. It works pretty good. It can hang off the Jeep, it can hang off the trailer, it can be set up by itself. It's pretty versatile. Um, a little hammock, some extra rope.
All right, so that was the trailer. If you guys have any questions, you want to know something about it that I may not have mentioned, feel free to ask. I'll try and answer them down in the comments. Uh, if you like this video, please give us a like and a subscribe. Um, this trailer has worked really well for us. It's been all over. It's been to New Mexico a few different times. It's been to Colorado. It's been through Texas, down at the beach. We've been through Arkansas countless times, South Dakota. Uh, it's just worked really well. And it's allowed us to be able to take our kids and have everything we need to be able to set up, tear down fast, and just enjoy where we are and what we're doing. And that's the point, right? Making memories and and just enjoying being outside in a different way. So, thanks for watching.